Armenian forces were spotted with made in India thermal imaging monoculars from Bangalore based Tunbo Imaging. Competence Exports Private Limited has exported over 1.5 million pair of shoes last year worth 100 crore rupees to the Russian army. Zen Technologies has unveiled its Prahasta arm quadruped robot that can create real-time 3D terrain mapping for unparalleled mission planning and can be used as a first line of defense for tactical operations. Delhi-based startup DG Propulsion has won the open challenge for the development of turbojet engines for high-speed UAVs under the IDEX. Ministry of Defense will open the price bid by Mazagin Dock ship builders for building three additional Scorpion class submarines in next few weeks, and the deal will be concluded by the end of this year. Chinese research vessel Xiangyang Hong 3 is on its way to Maldives, which marks the third port call of the vessel in Maldives in 2024. Apollo Microsystems has been awarded a project by the Indian Army for the procurement of a vehicle-mounted counter-swarm drone system that will be delivered in 85 weeks for single-stage composite trials and staff evaluation. Defence Ministry has released fifth positive indigenization list, under which 346 items have been identified for indigenization. While established powers like US, China, France, UK and Japan have set their sights on sixth-generation fighter jet prototypes by 2035, India finds itself struggling to even field its fifth-generation AMCA by the same time frame. India's current situation is concerning, as experts fear a potential 25-year gap between India's AMCA and the next-generation fighters being developed by its rivals. Partnering the Tempest program could provide India with access to cutting-edge sixth-generation technologies like high-speed networking, artificial intelligence integration, real-time data fusion, modular design and stealth, next-gen weapons and avionics, manned-unmanned teaming and networked warfare. After a series of delays, the first of the two advanced Talwar class stealth frigates under construction in Russia are set to be delivered to the Indian Navy in September this year, and a commissioning crew has already reached Russia earlier this month, while the second stealth frigate will also be delivered by February 2025. Goa Shipyard is also building two advanced Talwar class frigates with transfer of technology from Russia, and the launch of the first frigate would take place in the next couple of months. The Indian Air Force is actively pursuing the procurement of 100 unmanned loyal wingmen and strike platforms, however, a senior official has clarified that these unmanned systems are not intended to replace traditional manned fighter jets. Officials have emphasized that these unmanned systems won't replace the critical role of manned fighters, as current artificial intelligence technology cannot replicate the decision-making skills and adaptability of a human pilot, and these unmanned platforms will still require guidance and oversight from manned aircraft for successful mission execution. For Indian Navy's requirement of autonomous surface vehicles to bolster underwater surveillance and data collection capabilities, Saga Defence has offered its state-of-the-art autonomous surface vehicle, that has successfully undergone rigorous trials. Its catamaran design ensures exceptional stability, high bandwidth RF communication systems to facilitate real-time data transmission, and advanced sonar technology that enables to autonomously detect and survey underwater objects. Today's top 3 comments 